Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. It's another edition of the daily edification, the daily exhortation, coming to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barshem Yahushai Barshem Rakakwadash. All praises and glory is due. Now, this video will be an example of why the Heavenly Father Yahweh Barshem Yahweh Shai, you know, his only begotten son, must be feared. The smartest thing that you can do is to fear the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And especially the men that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is using to bring forth his word, to bring forth his truth. Okay? And this is an example with this woman here, this so called black woman here. And this proves that we're living in a time of judgment. Judgment is being brought upon the nation of Israel, the men as well as the women. Okay? And here I have a beautiful example. Um, and I first learned about this story from watching uh, Tommy Sotomayor. He was going into it. And uh, as you see here, the title, um, Metro, uh, it says, Woman Killed by train after dropping her phone on tracks and climbing down to get it and this is dated friday 28th june 2019 and the first scripture that came to my mind when i saw this was the book of first timothy 5 and 6 which says this but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth now one look at this woman here you know this woman was all about pleasure her life was all about pleasure okay just one look at her okay the, with the weave and the and the, you know the heavy eye makeup the the pose you know she her whole life was about social media posing for social media uh, you know, probably meeting all kind of different men, which means laying down with them, which means committing adultery, whoredom. Now, in the Apocrypha, it says this, the book of Ecclesiasticus, which is also known as Sirach, the 26th chapter, the ninth verse, it says, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. And this is demonstrated right here. And one of the reasons why the Lord brought judgment upon this woman is for her whoredom. For the way she was living her life. Her life of pleasure. You can clearly see this here in this picture here. Okay. She was all about pleasure. And, it, and apparently she wasn't too bright. Okay. Because she's standing at this train platform. She dropped her phone. Which was one of her instruments of pleasure. She dropped the phone and risked her life trying to get it. Okay? Let's read some of this article here. A 37-year-old commuter, now this woman was 37 years old, was struck and killed by a train after she dropped her phone onto the tracks and climbed down to retrieve it. Which wasn't a smart thing at all. Okay? Okay? As a matter of fact, between the tracks and the platform was about four, maybe five feet high. She didn't have enough time nor enough strength to pull herself back up onto the platform to escape the path of that train. You know, she risked her life for a phone. But why? That phone was part of her instrument of pleasure, her life of pleasure. <laughs> Amazing, man. And the thing about this story, the reason, one of the reasons why I'm doing this, this, this video is to show the fear of the Lord. Because the Lord brought judgment upon this woman. Alright? The Lord brought judgment upon her. And I'm showing you why. The haughty looks, let's read the scripture again. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. The Lord is bringing judgment upon you women, man. For, for your, 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 your ways of pleasure, your, your haughty lifestyle.
first let me uh let me bring out the book of Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. And this is why Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai must be feared. Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net. Now that word evil means bad time. Ev means age or time. Ill means bad. So it was, it was a, let's bump this up here. It was a bad time for this woman. Evil was brought upon her. For, for for her lifestyle, her way, her, the way she lived her life. I guarantee you, she lived in Chicago. I guarantee you, she saw there was brothers out there teaching. And she would walk by, fan her hand. You know, probably made derogatory comments about him. You know? And eventually, boom, judgment was brought on her. That's That's the message of this video. Judgment is being brought out here. By Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Anyway, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12, which proves this. For man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, as the birds that are caught in, in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in an evil time, and it also includes the women, when it falleth suddenly upon them. And that's exactly what happened. Now, when you read the story, right, this woman was enjoying the time of her life. I think it was her sister, they interviewed her sister. Her sister said, yes, she was enjoying life. And boom, the Lord brought judgment upon her. <laughs> yeah, she was enjoying, what kind of life was she enjoying? Enjoying a wicked life, a life of whoredom. Okay, a life of haughty looks, which the Heavenly Father hates, man. He hates a, a, a proud and, and haughty woman. Okay. The book of 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So who allowed this woman to get killed? The Heavenly Father bringing judgment. That's why the Heavenly Father must be feared. His name is Yahweh. He must be feared. That's the smartest thing you can do is to learn the fear of the Heavenly Father. Here's some scriptures dealing with that. The book of Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1 and 29. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. That's the majority of our people, especially the women. Proverbs 2 and 5. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. So part of the knowledge of the Most High is the fear of the Lord. And that's what we teach you here at Great Millstone. We teach you the name of the Lord and His only begotten Son. And we also teach you to fear Him. Because why? Because He's out here bringing, using the angels to bring judgment. And this is just an example. You women can't, you can't just do whatever the hell you want to do. You can't just go around laying and flaunting yourself, especially on social media, and not think that the, a day of judgment is going to come to you. This is exactly what this woman was doing. And finally, the day of judgment came, and it came in the form of a horrific death. <laughs> That's what I get out of this. The, the moral that I get out of this is learn to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and you women should too. And especially the men. If you women have a brother that's in the faith, you have a, your man that's in the faith, you better learn to fear him. Especially if he's in the faith doing the right thing, going out there and and, and doing the things that please you. How about Shem Shai? You women, you should learn to fear that man. Because in reality, that's that's really your 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 Lord. Okay, uh, uh, Sarah, which was the wife of Abraham, Sarah called him Lord. Okay, that's in the book of, uh, I believe, First Peter. Because judgment is out here, man. Judgment is out here. Let's get some more scriptures dealing with the fear of the Lord. Proverbs 9 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And this woman didn't fear the Lord. Hell, she didn't even know the Lord. She didn't want to know the Lord. Okay? She was too busy enjoying her life of pleasure. Too busy enjoying her life of pleasure. And what does it say in 1 Timothy 
5 and 6 but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth so let's read some of the story here and you're going to see why <laughs> you're going to see why the heavenly father Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai his only begotten son should be feared because well Yahweh Shai said all judgment is committed unto me by my father so it's really Yahweh Shai now he's the one that's bringing judgment out here on behalf of his father Yahweh because he made the statement he said all judgment is committed committed unto me and I just read the scripture the heavenly father brings the issues of death as a matter of fact there's there's one more scripture uh let me uh what is it psalms 68 and 20 the smartest thing you can do is to learn the fear of the lord you men as well as you women is to do the things that please we're living in a time where we want to do the things that please yahweh Yahshai and not displease him as it is written, kiss the son, least he be angry. We're living in a time of doing our best to please you. How about Shem Yahu Shai? Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto the most high, Yahweh, the Lord, belong the issues from death. And an issue of death was meted out to this woman right here. And a horrific death too. She got mangled by a train. Okay. All right, so let's read some more of this. Uh, Phelan Smith, or Phelan Smith, however you pronounce it, died after being hit by the Chicago L train at 69th Street, Red Line Station, around 12.40 p.m. on Thursday. Felon was pronounced dead at the scene, or Phelan. With service on the right Red Line, d with service on the red line disrupted for two and a half hours after the accident and so this woman's stupidity caused a delay of two and a half hours she ignored a warning sign telling riders to stay off the tracks example of her stupidity a sign right there telling you to stay off the tracks the victors the victim's mother Georgetta Martin shared the tragic news on Facebook, writing, Facebook, pray for me, my daughter was killed this morning. <laughs> the patrons of Facebook can't help you. But that just shows you how much our people are gone, man, and how much social media, you know, how much social media plays a, a, a um, an important part of the life of our people. So much so that uh, our people are making fools of themselves on social media. You know, you've seen the video with the stupid so-called black woman getting the, uh, the tub of ice cream out of the freezer and licking it and then putting it back in there. Now it might cost a, uh, uh, which we don't have 20 years, okay? Thank goodness we don't have 20 years. <laughs> I doubt if this place will go another year or two. You know, Yahweh Shai is on his way. But supposedly they may, they may give her 20 years punishment, you know, jail punishment for that stupid act. Okay? But that's just how much social media has taken over, you know, taken over the, uh, the lives of our people, social media. Anyway, uh, this is what uh, this is a Facebook uh, message that Phelan Smith put shortly before she died. It says, Two blessing in one day. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> Even your time of need. And the thing about our people is they don't realize that the Heavenly Father is also evil. Yeah, he created good, but he created evil. And that's why he must be feared. But see, they don't teach you that in these wacky tacky, wacky tacky churches. Let's get a couple of scriptures on that. So that's why that woman was living her life of pleasure. Because after all, why would you fear a God that's all good? Now, if she knew that the Heavenly Father created evil 
and reward evil for wicked works and wicked works such as whoredom and adultery she would have been a lot more vigilant this woman right here but come on brothers her life was all about pleasure and finally the Lord brought judgment and we can learn from that the book of Isaiah 45 and 7 we can learn from from her her calamity Isaiah 45 and 7 I form the light and create darkness I make peace and create evil I the Lord do all these things now in this woman's tweet what did she said she said God is good even in your time of need so why wasn't God good to her in her time of need when she was on that tracks and that train was fast approaching why wasn't he good to her then huh this, this is the same woman that tweet that I kept seeing I kept seeing I keep saying uh, tweeted that put on Facebook the message on Facebook why wasn't God good to her the question arises why wasn't God good to her when she was on those tracks and that tr train was speeding to her death because the the the, this, uh, the answer is God is not good all the time God creates evil and he believes in bringing evil upon our people that don't do the right thing as in judgment let's read it again Isaiah 45 and 7 I form the light and create darkness I make peace and create evil I the Lord now it's all in caps meaning the Heavenly Father Yahweh when you go into Hebrew I the Lord Yahweh do all these things there you go very important for our people to know this see when you know this that he creates evil and he uses evil as punishment for judgment it teaches you the fear of the Lord. Even Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, I will tell you one that you should fear. Fear him that can kill both soul and body in hell. And he was making reference, Yahweh Shai was making reference to his father, Yahweh. <laughs> That's the smartest thing you can do. Let's get the book of Amos. 3 and 6 it says this shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid and the scripture that I read in Ecclesiastes it shows you that the, that the Lord brings this evil as in judgment when you least expect it is that not what we read in Ecclesiastes Let's read the bottom part of the verse, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. So are the sons of men, and that includes the women, snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. Is that not what happened to this woman right here? Was she not caught in an evil time when it suddenly fell upon her? She had no idea, as you, and we're going to read the story, as you listen to the story, she had no idea that that very day the Lord was going to bring judgment upon her, and a brutal judgment at that. Amos 3 and 6, let's read it again. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So what is this telling you? This is telling you to fear the Lord, Yahweh. Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, because Yahweh Shai said all judgment is now committed unto him. So we not only do we fear the Lord, Yahweh, we fear his son, Yahweh Shai. It says, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So who brought the evil upon this woman? Was she, wasn't she in the city? The city of Chicago? Who brought the evil upon her? The Lord did. Why? Let's read it again. Ecclesiasticus 26 and 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. The Heavenly Father got tired, fed up of her whoredom. And, and Lord knows the other shit that she was doing. So finally, the Heavenly Father brought judgment. Every day, the Heavenly Father brings judgment. Okay, there's a scripture. Oh man, let me see. Remember how it's worded. This is real, man. It's no joke. Yeah. 
It's going to be hard trying to find this scripture. Come on. I must have. Okay. Let's try this again. I think it's in, uh, let me see, Zephaniah 3 and 5? Spirits tell me Zephaniah 3 and 5. Yep. Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord is in the midst of, he will not do iniquity. is in the midst of, he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Judgment. And we can learn from this. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. <laughs> the unjust knoweth no shame. And I direct your attention to the part where he says, he faileth not. This judgment didn't fail. It went right off cue, man. The Lord, was, the Lord had her exactly where he wanted her, and boom brought judgment the Lord had her exactly where he wanted her and judgment was brought let's see if that's not so Jeremiah 10 and 23 O Lord I know that the way of man is not in himself it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps so who direct the steps of that woman to meet her, uh, her final end the heavenly father did via the angels Okay? <laughs> Tell me that ain't scary. Anyway, let's read, read some more of this. So, apparently, before this woman got killed, she was getting what she believed was getting, she, she was getting all kind of blessings. <laughs> Two blessings in one day. God is good, even in your time of need. <laughs> uh, and 162 people thumbed that up. She later shared a tribute to Phelan, writing, My baby got her wings. Phelan's Facebook page was filled with haunting receipt, with haunting recent updates sharing how much she was enjoying life. Was it First Timothy, say again? First Timothy 5 and 6? But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. This woman was enjoying life. Yeah, enjoying a wicked life. That's why the scripture have said in the book of Ecclesiastes. Let's read it. Ecclesiastes 5. We're not in the time of enjoying life, man. We're in the time of, uh, of uh, repenting for our sins and living a life of fear. Because we know that the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, is, you know, upon the planet Earth. Let's try this. There we go. It's actually Ecclesiastes 7. 1 and 2. A good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of one's birth. So this woman, she's in her right mind now. Okay? She she knows that she's a Hebrew Israelite now. And she knows the, the reason of why she was put to death. For her haughty looks, her whoredom, her life of pleasure. Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. The house of feasting as in the life of pleasure. The scriptures say it's better to go in the house of mourning, especially the time we're living in. See, we're going to enjoy that feasting and all that in the kingdom. Now is not the time for it. 
Okay? And a lot of these women don't understand that. A lot of these women don't understand that. And it's going to cost them their life. She was so much into pleasure that when she lost an instrument of pleasure, that being the phone, when it fell onto the tracks, she went look, she went she went diving for it. Kind of reminds you of of uh, Lot's wife. When the angel told Lot's wife not to look back, what did Lot's wife do? She looked back and caught, it cost her a life. This is the same kind of scenario happening here, almost. These women, are they're embroiled in this life. And it's going to cost them their life. How about that? Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. And then the women, you, that's where you'll find the women, in the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men. <laughs> and the living will lay it to his heart. Yeah, the, the wise among us will consider this. That's why I'm doing this video. You women that have some kind of sense, consider why this woman lost her life in such a horrific manner. A uh, uh, whoredom, a uh, haughty looks. Just like the scriptures say. The scriptures speak about women wearing modest clothing. A lot of these women out here ain't, ain't wearing mo modest clothing. They're showing their breasts, they're showing their ass. I guarantee you if you go on this woman's uh, social media pages, she's showing pictures of her ass. If she has a nice ass, she'll of course she'll flaunt it. If she has a nice set of, of, of titties, nice set of breasts, she'll flaunt it. The Lord is bringing judgment out here, though. Warning you, women. This is a warning to you. Let's read on. On the morning of her death, check this out. On the morning of her death, she wrote two blessings in one day. <laughs> God is good even in your time of need. Again, I ask you, why didn't God help her when she was on those tracks? Nobody came to her aid. You're going to see the video too. Nobody came to her aid when she was on that, those tracks. Why didn't God put the spirit on individuals to help her out? It was a time of judgment. That's why. That's, that's how the Lord wanted her to go out. The Lord wanted her to go out by getting mangled by a train. And last week, Philon said, Good stuff has been happening all week to me. I was in the nail salon. Listen to this. I was in the nail salon and a lady paid for my feet to match my nails. <laughs> she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. That's what she cared about. Her, her feet matching her nails. Her phone. When she lost the phone, she went diving for it. Cost her her life. <laughs> I was in the nail salon and a lady paid for my feet to match my nails. She was like, they're so, they're so pretty. I want you to have it so sweet. Living a life of pleasure, man. <laughs> then the money for my Uber came back on my card from downtown. Oh, she was just getting blessed all over the place. And then today, I'm at breakfast with Chloe and someone paid our whole bill that was so sweet. <laughs> Look at God. I'm feeling like the angels are with me and I try to pay it forward. Yeah, well, the angels was with her right at that moment too. The angels was making sure that she was going to die by getting hit by that train. Okay? Because <laughs> the, the angels received receive that issue of death. Because I've been working really hard and was starting to wonder, God, when is it going to pay off? Which it should say, when is it going to pay off? Well, uh, this is all your hard work. This, is what, this was the result. It paid off. You're dead. Okay? And what's the moral of this? Fear Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai. That's the moral of this video. Fear Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai. And learn the fear of the Lord. Learn this knowledge. Learn this truth. As it is written, redeeming the time for the days are evil. That includes you men as well as you women. We're not living in, 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 the, in the pleasurable day anymore. Judgment is being brought upon this place. Okay, judgment is being brought upon this place. Alright, so I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you brothers were edified by this video and it's on to the next one. Remember, 
judgment is being brought. As a matter of fact, before I go, let's play this video here. This is it, it, the, the same story of this woman here. Let's play some of this. 69th Street Station, where that accident happened, Dana. And the woman we spoke with says that no one from CTA nor the city has contacted her family. And she says after watching this video that was leaked this week, she is wondering why a security guard and two other male passengers standing just feet from her sister did nothing to help her. There's nothing they could do, man. All right. Her sister made, which you're going to see the woman. The woman is bugged out herself, her sister. Her sister made a stupid decision. You know, that's the thing about you so-called black women, women in general, but you so-called black women. This sense of entitlement that you have, that everybody's supposed, that stop the world, everybody's supposed to help you. <laughs> this sense of, uh, of, of not having a, a, an, an accountability for your stupid actions. Well, in this case, it cost this woman her life. You got to learn, you women got to learn to to be held accountable for your actions which in, in 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 most times is stupid okay your actions a lot of you women you you're doing things based upon attention you want attention and you'll do stupid things to get it well you got to be held accountable for your for your stupid actions nobody owes you anything all right i knew what the look at, look, look, look look at this that's her sister, the woman that died. Filled with tattoos, which is against the law. Totally out of order. Okay? She also is living a life of whoredom. Okay? Just like her sister. And eventually she's going to get her judgment too. Judgment is out here, man. 18 seconds of her life was like, but I'm traumatized. I'm hurt. I'm disappointed. Brandy Martin says the See? The sense of entitlement. And the thing that she was hurt and traumatized for is is that people didn't put their life on their the line to help her sister out. Judgment was being brought upon the sister. Last five days have been devastating after her thirty seven year old sister, Falon Smith, was hit and killed by a CTA red line train. Now also Tommy did a lesson. On, uh, slacking not on not only this woman but her niece a few days later was killed the niece of this woman was killed in a party on uh, what july 4th you know there's that murderous death angel going you know out there in chicago <laughs> bringing all kind of judgment and her niece got killed i think shot dancing in the streets so Evidently, the Heavenly Father don't like this family. He's bringing all kind of judgment on this family. No person is perfect. The judgment that's <laughs> being passed on my... Sense of entitlement. No person is perfect. No, your sister, what you should be doing is sitting there cursing your sister out for her stupidity. But no. You know, the so-called black woman, that's how they are. They, they Well, let's, let's get the scripture. What is that? Proverbs 30 and 20? That's how they are. They can do all kind of wickedness and not feel that they should be held accountable for their actions. That is exactly how they are. That's why the smartest thing you can do, you brothers out there, is stay away from the so-called black woman. Okay? If there's ever a woman on the planet that feels she can do whatever she want to do, whether it be good or bad, and not be, not be held accountable is that woman Proverbs 30 and 20 such is the way of an adulterous woman she eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith I have done no wickedness there you go in other words I can do all kind of wickedness but don't hold me accountable for my actions I can do all kind of stupidity in the name of getting attention but don't hold me accountable for my actions that's what this woman here is saying that's the attitude she's conveying. <laughs> My sister for making a decision. It's making a decision. Making a stupid decision. Why don't you say that? Don't worry. You'll soon join your sister. Terrible. The comments that's being made on Facebook are sickening. <laughs> At about 12 it's ironic that Facebook 
is where this woman was going to get her attention. Facebook is it, Facebook was her life. Facebook was her life. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. This this is <laughs> this this is drama from the heavenly Father Yahweh Shem Shai. and we can learn from this. As it is written, the living shall lay it to heart. Okay. Like it says, the living shall lay it to heart. 40 Thursday afternoon, Smith was on her way home from downtown. Now here's you the can video. You see her here looking down at the tracks. That's her right there. This is shortly after she dropped the phone. Now the train is on its way, right? And she's talking to this dude. She's hoping, you know, the sense of entitlement. She's hoping that this nigga would be simple enough to jump down on the tracks and, and uh, get her phone for her. I know that's what she was thinking. That's how you so-called black women think. But this dude was like, ah, fuck that. I ain't going on those tracks. After Let's watch. Her cell phone, it appears See? she talks with a passenger. She was talking with, the, with, the, with this dude in hopes that the dude would jump down on the tracks and get the phone. Next to her in the red shirt, then jumps. So she jumps down. <laughs> Mind you, the train is coming. She jumps down on the tracks and, and goes to get the phone. Incredible. Down. Another passenger in a white shirt carrying a red bag points down the platform where a security guard and dog are standing. Smith starts moving quickly towards the train. So the, the dude over here told her she couldn't, obviously, the reason why she was still down there is because the difference between the platform and the tracks was about four or five feet. So she didn't have enough strength to uh, climb onto the platform. Now the other guy didn't want to help her because she could have pulled the other guy onto the tracks. In other words, all this circumstances was really the judgment of the Lord leading to her death. So this guy told her, look, run to the, there was a ladder down there run to the ladder to climb up onto the platform but she didn't have enough time <laughs> the train the here comes the train there was a ladder that's the train right there Over there she was trying to reach but she didn't make it in time and uh, of course they're not going to show it the, the train mangled her okay so what can we learn from this fear the lord how about shimmy shy okay and for, for our people to stop being so fucking stupid. But anyway, it's, it goes beyond being stupid. It was the judgment of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. So with that, I'll leave it there. It's on to the next one.